choices. But you can't make wise choices if you don't see the whole picture. Now, if you're not good at this, this is one of the things with DISC, is that you have a dominant personality. If you know someone who, and you're not one of those, if you know someone who has a dominant personality, they are great visionaries. They see the big picture. They think in bullet points. They're really great about bringing people in to get it done. Results is what matters. No excuses, results. So if you're not sure about the big vision, bring in that person. The next person you need is the influencer, create hyper creative. This person, like the um, dominant, sees a big picture, dreamer. But because they're so creative, they're very good at innovation. Not so much always follow through. <laughs> you know, generally speaking, they're generally speaking. You know, they like bling. You know, they're like a raccoon. They like shiny. That's how you can spot them. That Then you bring those two minds together because they're going to allow you to have the big picture and also to start thinking creatively of how to start the ball rolling. Then you want somebody that I call the salt of the earth, which they call um, steady in disc. Now the salt of the earth person is really amazing at looking at all your resources and then saying, okay, based on what you have in your hand, this is where you can start. This is how you can utilize it. This is what you need. This is what you're going to need. They're really great at that. Now the dominant and the influencer, they like fast. <laughs> the salt of the earth is not slow, but they're slower. And so they're also really big about family, you know, friends, community, humanity. And so they're going to help you to make the most of your resources. The last, now you don't want to bring in this last person until you kind of have that all together. And then you have somebody called, um, it's a critical, but I call it the critical thinker. They are amazing at punching holes and that's what you want because you want that person to you want to present them present to them the plan the how the resources kind of like the blueprint and then say okay tell me why it won't work and they're going to tell you why it's not going to work <laughs> they come off as negative nelly you have a very monotone voice they have 50 pairs of pants and they're awesome shade of khaki or <laughs> beige. <laughs> but they are amazing at punching holes. And we need that. See, what happens is that when you don't have the right entrepreneur mindset, you only want to work with people who are just like you. That doesn't help you. That's why you get stagnant because you're not bringing in people who have an opposite gift cluster, personality gift cluster, who can punch the holes in what you're doing and you need that you need the contrarians so that they can help you see what you don't see as so you can make contingency plans so that you're not wasting your time that is why critical thinkers are so important because they help you to not waste any time and resources and and get into frustrations because they're like i'm warning you <laughs> they get a bad rap because of their ability to punch holes. And so when you get all that, then you start all over again with your little mastermind group. That is actually the proper way to do a mastermind. Four people with those four main personality gift clusters, and then you work together, and then you'll create momentum. But this is just some of the things that you